So over here we have tribe, goat stomach. So as you can see, this is how it comes from the slaughterhouse. So this is the stomach and inside you have the intestines. And these are just, this is just a flavor. So now I'm going to open up the stomach. I'm going to remove the intestines. We're going to wash them and then I'm going to cook them. Also, we have the heart. So, we have the heart and the lungs which come with the whole stomach. So, I'm going to grill the heart. So, first, we're going to clean the tripe, then, we'll start our cooking. So, we've opened up the stomach, and you can see the varieties. So, we have the intestines. And this one have a like a, a very light skin, so these ones are good for stuffing and making your sausage. Then you have these ones which are more thick. So I'm going to roast a couple of these ones, the small intestines. And now I'm going to show you how to wash this stomach. So I, I usually see a lot of people washing and removing this dark part, so you don't have to do that. There's only a membrane inside which you have to remove, so this is the membrane you're going to remove. Just like that, you remove the, this membrane, then you just wash on this side so you don't have to scratch and remove this part. So this contributes a lot to the flavor, so you're not going to remove it. So now I'm going to cut it open. Then I can show you that membrane as I remove it. So you see this is the member that I'm talking about. So removing these ones will let the tripe or matumbo cook quicker. So I'm going to remove all of it, and then I'm going to wash it. Then I'll show you how the matumbo will look like after it's all clean and the membrane is removed. So and there's also a goat spleen. So as you can remember, we made a cow spleen recipe. So this is the goat spleen. So I'm going to roast this with the heart and the small intestines. So now you see with the membrane off, it's starting to become clean. So we still have some small spots that I have to remove. But basically that's how you clean it, so you don't need anything fancy. If you have vinegar you can use it, but it's not a must. Just remove the membrane, give it a wash, and it's ready to be cooked. So I'll continue removing these small spots to wash the rest of the matumbo. Then we'll start with the cooking. So now our intestines are clean. So I'm going to boil them and then I'll slice them into smaller pieces. So we'll add them to our chopped up stomach and we're going to boil them together until they are nice and tender.
now the rain has subsided. Let me show you the process of our matumbo. You can see it's, it's continuing to cook down. Just look at that natural fat. So I'm going to let it render, continue cooking until it's nice and tender. And as we wait for the matumbo to cook, I have a couple of things I want to grill. So I have the hat, which I'm going to stick it on the grill. I have the lungs over here. So you grill those, the heart and the lungs, season them with salt, then you can have a snack as you wait for the matumbo to cook. So now our heart is ready. I'm going to remove this one. Set it aside to cool. And then we have our small intestines that I kept aside. So this one's also going to cool them. And then I have our goat spleen. So I'm going to wrap it in fat. So if you have skewers, it will be easier for you to hold the fat in place. So the fat will just reinvent the spin and cook it nicely. And add some salt to them. Give them a few minutes and are going to turn them. So we've grilled our lungs, our spleen, and the intestines, and a little bit of fat. So I'm just going to heat it with some salt. And then that's it for it. So we're going to wait for the matumbo to boil down. Then I'm going to come back and make an amazing matumbo dish. So now our onions, chilies and garlic leaves are frying off. Now I'm going to add our tomato. So I'm going to cook this on low heat until the tomato softens up. And I'm going to add in some salt. So the salt helps in drawing out the moisture from the tomatoes, so it will break down faster. So now let's check on our tomatoes. So as you can see they are starting to soften up. Now I'm going to add in a little bit of liquid, just to prevent them from burning. You can just look at the broth from the matumbo. And now this one is like nectar. You see how nice and fat it is. So I'm going to add in a little bit. So this one will deglaze the pan. We keep those tomatoes nice and moist until they break down completely. So we'll cover them again for another minute. Then we'll come back. So you can now see the Softening up. I'm going to add in my matumbo. Dry fry it. So we let the liquid reduce for another two minutes. So now let's check on our matumbo. 
as you can see now all the liquid is gone so it's nice and a little bit dry fried so this is how I like my matumbo but you can also cook it without tomatoes you can just fry it in oil with a little bit of onions and that will be it so we're going to turn off the gas now we're going to go to our garden harvest the cabbage then you go and cook it So this is what we are going to cook, so let's go ahead and wash it and prepare our cabbage. So I am going to use these uh, old leaves as compost. So this is our half bed. So you can now wash this up. So our onions are sweating for the cabbage. I'm going to add in our tomato paste. So I'm just going to cook out the onions. Then I'm going to add in our cabbage. So let that go for a couple of seconds. Then we add in our cabbage. So I want to cook this down until it's nice and soft. So I'm going to cover it on low heat for three minutes. But first I'm going to add it just a splash of water. Just to make sure that it doesn't burn. So we cover it for three minutes. Then it's going to be ready. So now let's check on our cabbage. So now you can see it's becoming nice and soft. All the water has evaporated. So we'll cook it up for another 30 seconds. Then it will be ready to serve. So now we turn off the gas. So our matumbo and cabbage is ready. Now we are going to start. You can see that red hue from the tomato paste. And now the matumbo. So now this is our complete meal and then you add our ugali and there you have matumbo, cabbage and ugali. So this is our dry fried matumbo and cabbage with ugali as requested by our subscriber Mildred and Watch. So kindly like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you next week.